Hey ladies, it's Joanna here. If you're watching this video because you have cellulite, well, here's a good news. You're not alone. 90% of women will experience cellulite sometime in their life. Yup, I have cellulite myself. Here are some facts. Cellulite has nothing to do with age. It can show up even in young teenage girls. Cellulite does not only happen to overweight people. Skinny women can have cellulite as well. Yup, it is true that cellulite can worsen with age. That's because after the age of 30, we tend to lose 3-5% to of muscle mass per decade and increase in body fat. This is especially noticeable in people who are inactive. Smoking can worsen cellulite. Cigarette smoke contains a toxic mix of chemicals that can disrupt the body from producing collagen, making the skin less elastic and prompting the underlying layer of fat to show through. And finally, there is no permanent solution to cellulite, but what we can do is to learn to reduce the appearance and to manage it for life. Generally, cellulite can be caused by water retention, increase in body fat, lack of activity or too much sitting, poor blood circulation in the body and also hormone imbalance. So when our body produces less estrogen, especially as we age, it also means poor circulation, decrease in new collagen production and our older connective tissues will also start to break down. So cellulite is simply a layer of fat underneath the skin. So we tend to have more noticeable cellulites around the thighs, butt, stomach, love handles, and also triceps. That's because as women, those are the areas we tend to carry more body fat. I remember when I was studying in college, before I started exercising, I used to have very noticeable cellulites around my upper thighs area. It made me really self-conscious and I would avoid wearing shorts or even skirts. And whenever I walk, I, I would always think if someone was staring at my legs and what nasty thoughts might be going through their head. And it wasn't nice at all. And even nowadays, if I were to just sit on my butt all day long and do no physical activity, I will start to see my happy friends appearing around my upper thighs area. So ladies, cellulite will be our best friend for life. So we better start to learn to love it and also manage it. So I want to share with you five natural ways which has helped me to reduce my cellulite and they are also proven methods that can help you. The first method is dry brushing. So dry brushing is a very traditional technique to improve circulation, remove toxin from the body and in return reduce the appearance of cellulite. So the first thing you have to do is buy yourself a body brush made with natural fiber. You want to get a brush with a long handle to make sure that you can reach every part of the body. And because dry brushing also re-energize and stimulate the body, we want to do this as part of our morning routine. So dry brush every day for 5 to 7 minutes before shower. I know it can seem like a long time for some of you, including myself. So while dry brushing, what I like to do is listen to Audible. My current favorite listen is The Body Book by Cameron Diaz. Her message is so positive and empowering in teaching us to create a healthier and happier you. And most importantly is to love your body. So I'm currently working with Audible and you can get this audiobook for free by going to audible.com slash Joanna or simply click on the link in my description box which will direct you to the site. I believe that listening to positive messages first thing in the morning has helped me to attract more good vibes into my life. So we want to gently brush upwards by starting at your feet and work up towards your heart, bringing the circulation up to the body. So we want to focus on areas with more cellulite. For me, it will be my upper thighs. And remember to always brush from the left to right side of the body. Once you've done the lower part of your body, let's move on to the mid section. So brush your stomach in a clockwise motion to ensure good digestion. And of course, not forgetting the lower back, especially the love handles area. And finally, let's tackle the bingo wings. Again, always brush up towards the heart. So from your arm to armpit. For quick result, you want to do this every single morning. 
and once you have reduced the appearance of your cellulite, then reduce it to three times a week. So now that you've just opened up all your pores, any body treatments you apply in the shower will be more effective. Let's hop into the shower and enjoy a good coffee scrub. Having a regular coffee scrub is another proven natural way to reduce the appearance of cellulite. Coffee scrub can improve circulation, remove dead cells, regenerate new healthy cells and make your skin more firm, tight, soft and hydrated. So to make your own coffee scrubs, you'll need quarter cup of coffee grounds, three tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. We want to mix them together in a jar to form a paste. Let's start by wetting your entire body. Then apply the mix onto your skin and always massage in circular motions. Again, focusing on areas with cellulites. Rinse it off and have a warm shower. You want to follow this remedy for two to three times weekly until you have seen results. And you can keep any excess coffee scrub for future use. And the next really important tip is to drink lots of water. Drink at least 8 cups or 2 litres of water every day to stay hydrated, to reduce water retention and also to flush out any toxins from the body. So start your morning by drinking 2 glasses of water on an empty stomach and remember to continue to drink throughout the day. What I like to do before going to bed every night is to fill up a bottle with half a litre of water and when I get up in the morning, the first thing I'll do is to drink the entire bottle. It will instantly get my digestion going. I like to also add lemon slices into my water and I will always carry a bottle of water out with me. Another really useful tip is to consume foods with high water content such as cucumber, melons and leafy greens. Just by drinking more water, you will start to see your cellulite reduce drastically and as a bonus, you will also have clearer looking skin. The next method is, ladies, increase your omega-3 intake. Omega-3 is your secret to beautiful and younger looking skin. It helps preserve collagen, muscle mass and skin elasticity through its anti-inflammatory properties. So add foods that are rich in omega-3s such as salmon, flax seeds, chia seeds, avocado, walnuts, spinach and edamame. Or for convenience, take fish oil pill on a daily basis. It has actually been proven that adults who take omega-3 fatty acids supplement on a daily basis slows down the decline in muscle mass. And the final tip to fight cellulite is to get active. Exercising tones the muscle by reducing fat under the skin and to replace lost muscle tissues. Personally, I have seen tremendous results especially by including jump-based exercises into my routine. If you can't include jump-based exercises, that's okay. The goal is to work on your entire lower body muscles from every angle. So the front and the back of your thighs, inner and outer thighs, buttocks and hips. I've created a workout playlist just for you to fight cellulite. So be sure to stay active for at least 30 minutes, 4 to 5 times weekly for best results. I have cellulite and I know how it can impact you. So I created this video because I want to help you and other women out there who might be struggling with cellulite to learn to manage it for life. Ladies, it is never too young to start looking after yourself. We deserve the best, okay? So apply these tips, give time back to yourself, eat well, avoid junk foods, move constantly, avoid alcohol or smoking, and remember that we are all still very beautiful with cellulite, okay? So I just want to thank Audible for supporting my video, so be sure to click on the link in my description box and get your first audiobook for free. If you find this video to be helpful, Give it a thumb up, share it with your girlfriends and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos. And do follow me on my social media pages at Joanna Soh Official. And remember to watch the recommended videos right at the end. All the best.